What up, scrubs? It's your boy Rake gonna do the Cheat Engine 6.7 tutorial. We're gonna break it up into a couple sections. This is gonna be step 0 through 5, which is gonna be super beginner, so skip to the next video if you want. To start the tutorial, you click Help Cheat Engine Tutorial. This is gonna be the x86 version to make things simple. And to start off, it's telling us that we need to attach to the process because the Cheat Engine tutorial is actually a separate process. So we click the process picker and and select the uh, tutorial, open. And now we want to uh, click next. That's the first step, nice and easy. So now we're just going to do exact value scanning. So he's got a health variable down here. Uh, which is 100, so we're going to start a scan for that. Now we assume that health is an integer, and so an integer is a 4 byte value. And then we're going to scan, hit me, and now we're going to filter that scan. So now all, address, all the addresses that have changed values to 96 are going to be right there. So what he wants us to do is set it to 1000 to pass this. So we'll double click the number and click 1000. Wow, right really okay next and unknown initial value now imagine your health is like a health bar and you don't know what your what the max health is and what your current health is so to do that with unknown initial value scan about a half a million results hit me and now we know the value is decreased next now we have about a thousand and if you hit, hit me again you'll see the negative 10 there so it's actually decreased by 10 and so if we go to decrease value by we can tell it the precise value and now it's going to be a much faster scan so there it is 479 and he wants us to change it to 5000 to proceed to the next step right there and next floating points same thing nice and easy the value type is going to be a float, and it's but it's going to be uh, 100 right here. First scan, and let's do hit me, and now it's 96. So we can see that red change value, the 96 right there. And they want us to change it to 5,000 to get past this. Now a double is basically it's a floating point, it's a floating decimal point value that has double the precision. So it's eight bytes instead of uh, four bytes in this case. And so let's do new scan, a double, and it's 100, and 99.5, 99.5. So we got the right one. The reason there's only one is because uh, doubles are pretty uh, specific variable types, and there's not going to be many in most applications, if, if any at all. So let's change that to 5,000 as well. Next. All right, step five, code finder. Basically, this is going to ask us to find an instruction that accesses our health address, uh, that changes it, that decreases it, and then we're going to chain, we're going to nop it, and so that that instruction doesn't execute. So let's assume 100 is an integer and scan for it. Change value 61. There we have it. We're going to right click and do find out rights to this address. So basically what this does is it, it attaches a debugger to the process and it puts a, a breakpoint on that address, a data write breakpoint. So anytime an instruction writes to it, the breakpoint is going to be caught. It's going to record what instructions touched it. Uh, what accesses is just going to show us what instructions read it, uh, which, is, which is not what we want in this case. So find out what writes to it. Yes, we want to attach a debugger. Let's go change the value, and now we see it caught this instruction accessing that address. So this is just a little snippet of the disassembly, and then we have the registers uh, here. So this says uh, move edx into the address pointed to by eax. And if we look at eax, uh, that corresponds to this address right here so we know that's good and let's do show disassembler and so in this view it shows us the bytes which are just hexadecimal representation of the binary that the CPU is executing and uh, so data and code are both the same thing but when we're talking about code 
these uh, hexadecimal bytes represent uh, instructions that the CPU can execute. And so the representation here, they're called opcodes, move EDX into the address pointed to by EAX. If we right click and do toggle breakpoint, and then click change value, we're going to, the breakpoint's gonna get caught right here. And we're gonna see that EDX is a 3D4 in hex, and we're gonna move that into the address pointed to by EAX, which we saw uh, right here. And then if we click F7 to, to step through that, we're now gonna see that this value is 980. And if we go up here and just plug in 3D4, we're going to see that in decimal it's 980. So that is the correct instruction. Right click it, toggle breakpoint off. And so what we want to do is we want to knot this instruction. So we're going to right click it and click uh, replace with code that does nothing. And what name do you want to give this code? Doesn't really matter. Um, but what that does is it saves it. So if you click advanced options right here, you'll see that, that that code was then saved. And then when you save your cheat table, you'll always be able to go back to that so you don't lose that address. You see a lot of people like writing stuff down in notepad when they're doing these tutorials. It's really unnecessary. Cheat Engine will save everything right in the cheat table for you as long as you know how to use it. Um, but anyways, uh, back to the point here. We did uh, not this instruction. Now, uh, not the byte 90 represents the NOP code which is no operation which means it just does nothing so instead of changing the health uh, value it's just going to do nothing instead and the previous instruction was two bytes so now the the nops have to be two bytes as well or else uh, you, it's going to be all messed up so now when we change value it doesn't change it's going to be 980 no matter how many times that we click it all right, so that's the end of step one through five. Next video is going to do uh, steps six through eight, I think.